All right, so I am back, and I left off talking about the big mock trial. Oh my goodness, the day that we have been waiting for. So we've spent a few days processing the information, going back and forth, and yes, it is tedious to stop and start stop and start reading the text but you want to make sure your students have a full understanding so taking that time is worth it because day three is the mock trial now it was time for students to compile the evidence that they have worked so hard to cipher through and each student had a role in deciding the fate of the suspect so for time management purposes and also to close those opportunities for students to hijack that lesson i already assigned the roles for my students ahead of time so uh 12 students would be jurors their job would be to decide if the prosecution or the defense presented the best evidence. Now, the defense team, their job would be to um, compile the evidence from their annotated story packets and come up with arguments in support of criminal insanity defense. And I would just put no more than five students in this group. Now, you got the prosecution team. The prosecution team, again, five students, give or take, depending on your classroom size. Their job will be to sustain arguments in support of the first degree murder defense based on the information that they annotated from the packets, the information that we have spent two days ciphering through. Now, while the defense and the prosecution work on their analysis, the jury will use their packet to make a prediction about what they think may happen during this mock trial. Um, and they will weigh both sides of the evidence. So, as um, a visual students will need a large post-it sheet to diagram their thoughts and what their thinking process is uh, for preparation um, when I conducted the mock trial I was on a block schedule so I was able to offer 30 minutes of collaborative learning so that students could prepare now based on how your classroom schedule runs you may have to shave some time off or do a to be continued the next day or whatever have one day just um where the students prep for the trial and then the next day day four having the trial depending on your scheduling so assessments how did i grade the work that the students were doing so grades for the mock trial were based on the quality of information presented on the oversized post-it so now i have a visual now i can see what your thinking process was did you do it did you think it through you know or did you just throw something together and i do have a peer rubric from blog four it can be used in this context as well because you know teaching collaborative learning is important and um then i'm sorry okay so then it was trial time after everyone had a chance to uh, process the information it's time to go to trial and I was the judge, okay? So I flip roles. I'm now a lead detective, and now I'm the judge. Yes, gave me. So we flipped a coin to see which team would prevent, present first, the defense or the prosecution. And um, each team had a, a head attorney 
that would present the information and um, argue it. And they would use their uh, oversized post-it note, the information that was there, to just lay out their ideas and prove their case and prove their point. Um, so it was 15 minutes and then, uh, you know, the prosecution team presented 15 minutes and so forth and so on. So after both sides prevent presented, the jury was given 10 minutes to deliberate the outcome. And then a lead juror would step forward and present the information about the predictions and how the jury voted and how the what they voted was their prediction correct uh was the outcome unified with what they perceived that was going to happen and um when the jury presented the verdict kids just went crazy because some people agreed and some people disagreed and they're like oh my god I, I no 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 he's crazy no he's a killer no he's crazy no he's just a killer so um that inspired me to carry on the lesson and create another activity um which was the essay writing prompt and um so moving into that the essay writing prompt basically um they would talk about whether they agree or disagree with the verdict and they would tell why they agree or disagree based on their findings based on their information and that was um a right day for them and I had no problem getting students to write this essay because they were so eager to express their opinions about whether or not the suspect was criminally insane or was he just a cold-blooded murderer. So the right days, you have your rough draft day and then your final draft day. Now on these days, I did not sign exit tickets or do nails or do a whole lot of introduction because I wanted to provide a writing space uh, that was conducive to thinking to processing so I didn't get them distracted with a whole bunch of other assignments write days were just that days to write days to organize days to reflect and you know, just be their best selves and be the, the best that they could be. All right. And uh, I had to insert this. So it also reminds me as I speak of my favorite classroom noise, which was those pencils and pens scratching that paper. It was like, oh my God, yes, I have done something right. So if of course students complete things at different rates so you always want to have that extended learning activity or project based learning activities and that's where if you have been keeping up the goals in the cereal box project based learning activity will come in handy at this point so there you have it um, also, uh, this is funny. Uh, I'm going to share this. Uh, the students were like, Miss Richardson, do you know you had us reading this story about six times? We didn't read the same story six times. And I'm like, oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Because I served it in different ways and the students consumed it and it was good. All right. So that's that's that dripping in finesse. That's the finesse game that I'm putting you on. All right. So if you want full lesson plans and directions related to using role play to teach, then 
it's on my website check out the description and there will be the link there and you can use it and you can run with it all for the free free all right so don't forget to like comment subscribe just show your love if i'm doing this thing right all right okay so i will see you next time next sunday don't be a stranger bye